In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an SSL certificate to your domain. In the previous video, I showed you how to purchase and associate your domain to your AWS EC2 instant using AWS Route 53. In this video, I am going to show you how to install a free SSL certificate to that exact domain. Hello everybody, my name is Scootler. Welcome to Coding 101. I'm on a mission to make you a developer or a better developer one video at a time. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. SSL is a crucial component to any website. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. It's a cryptographic protocol designed to provide communication security over a computer network or a computer. SSL certificates create a foundation of trust by establishing a secure connection. To assure their visitors that their connection is secure, browsers provide a special visual cues that we call EV indicators, anything from a green padlock to a branded URL bar. So you can see on the screen that we have a website that is trusted and we have a website that is not trusted. And this is how your browser will indicate to you that your website does not have SSL installed in it. SSL allows sensitive information such as credit cards, social security numbers, and login credit credentials to be transmitted securely. If we go back to my website, you can see that if I click over here, there's actually a warning that we should not enter any sensitive information on this site because it could be stolen by hackers. So in essence, the, this connection is not yet secure. So SSL allows us uh, to type those sensitive informations. So what happens is that normally data that is sent between browsers and web servers is sent in plain text. So because that data is sent in plain text, it leaves uh, that communication channel vulnerable to eavesdropping. If an attacker is actually able to intercept all the data being sent between a browser and a web server, they can actually see your, or, or use your information. So what SSL does is that it encrypts the data being sent between the browser and the server to prevent any type of illegal eavesdropping. So as you can see from this image, this browser or this um, website has S as an encryption that is connected to it, meaning that the data can pass from the browser to the server much more securely. So like I said in this video, we're going to be learning how to install our very own free SSL in our website. And we're going to use something called Let's Encrypt. So you can just, to learn more about Let's Encrypt, you can just go to Let's Encrypt, I believe it's Let's Encrypt.org. Yes, Let's Encrypt.org. Let's Encrypt is a certificate authority being run for the benefit of the public. So it's free, it's open source. It is supported by the Internet Security Research Group, which is a California public benefit organization. It is a certified authority and can issue SSL certificate. So don't worry, just because it's free doesn't mean it's less secure. It's actually a trusted organization that distributes free SSL. So you don't necessarily need to purchase your own SSL. You can actually get it from Let's Encrypt. So how do we actually get our SSL from Let's Encrypt? Well, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to access your EC2 server. So I'm going to access my server over here. And just like that, I was able to access my server. And then the next thing that I need to do is that I need to actually install a setbot. So in order to do that, first I need to just say sudo apt get date. And then once we're done doing that, we can just like do this. So just make sure to just follow what I am typing on the screen. And then just click enter. And then now install Python setbox nginx. Okay, so I hope this is not going to be, let's try and install it again. 
Okay, so I just figured that, okay, we need to install our Python set box differently. So we just need, instead of saying Python, we need to reference Python 3 instead. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to say Python 3 set bot engine x. Okay, this should work. And then we say yes, please continue. Give it some time to install. All right, so once your um, Python setbox nginx is done installing, now we move on to the domain aspect. We actually install our certificates on our domain. So we're just going to say sudo setbox dash dash nginx dash. Okay. XYZ like that. And then we do another. Domain. Oops. <laughs> Am I trying to install SSL on YouTube? That is so hilarious. Okay, my mind is somewhere else. My mind is on YouTube. So XYZ like that. And I think that should be it. Okay, so now we need to install, we need to write the email so that because this these certificates expire after 30 days, or after 90 days, sorry. So every time they expire, you have to come over here and renew them. So that is why now they're asking me for an email that they could likely use for, so that they could like um, send me these messages that a certificate has expired, you might need to renew it. And you need to read the terms and conditions. I'm just going to say why, because I've read them conditions I'm going to say why and it's requesting the certificates for those domains just it's a little bit there we go and just like that our SSL certificates has have been successfully deployed to our uh, domain all right so I'm just gonna say restart my nginx server I'm just gonna just say sudo service nginx restart like that so that's just going to restart our web server and just going to give it a couple of minutes for it to propagate okay so it's well it's been well over it's been well over two minutes since we've installed our SSL certificate. So what we need to do now is to go back to our website over here and then maybe let's refresh this. I'm hoping it's going to redirect me to the secure link. There we go. So now you can see that the SSL certificate has been successfully linked to our domain. So you can see now that the connection is secure. Very, very simple using Let's Encrypt. So we have, so you can see that if we try to put, I think, HTTP like the last time it's going to redirect us to the secure connection and it's going to keep us away from the unsecure connection it's just going to keep us on the secure connection only so that is how that is done if you have any questions or if something is a little bit confusing for you uh, let me know drop your comments in the comment section I love hearing what you guys think about uh, these tutorials is there anything that is a bit confusing for you just let me know and I'll be happy to answer you I'll be happy to uh, help however way I can. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Please make sure that you have subscribed to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you haven't you have subscribed. And if you have subscribed, click the notification bell icons because I am posting videos every once in a while and you need to be aware of those videos. Otherwise, you're going to come back and you're going to find that there's going to be like a lot of things that you need to learn. So it's better you get like that notification to watch those videos as soon as possible. So make sure that you have subscribed. Make sure that you've liked this video. If you have any comments, um, drop them in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time on Coding 101.